Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. That was another uh, Palomar 225 here. Uh, with the output filtering. <laughs> this is one of the only amps, uh, very few amplifiers uh, built for what it's built for that I've uh, seen with output filtering. An actual output filter as you see right there. I don't know exactly what you would call a Chevy Chev type filter or what, but um, it is an output filter. That's why these particular amplifiers will not do as much wattage, if y'all have ever noticed, as use these. Whenever you put an output filter, you do suffer a little bit of less wattage. But all the wattage is being put on that particular band, that particular uh, frequency spectrum. All your power is being put exactly where it should be put. <laughs> so yeah, you might lose a little bit on the meter, but every bit of it's being put on that frequency. Well, anyway... I've seen these uh, particular amplifiers come with, excuse me, 1446s, 455s. I don't really know exactly which uh, transistor comes in these by factory. I utilized a pair of MRF 453s. Yeah, first time I've had a pair of them come through me, uh, through my hands. And guess what? It's a brand new pair. I've uh, looked up and uh, found a person here locally that's uh, got quite a few Motorola transistors in their possession that I've been uh, going and seeing every once in a while. And a lot of them are brand new. A few of them are used, but I'm after the brand new ones. And uh, these are a pair that I got for a really good price. They're pretty much MRF 454s, pretty much, but... Uh, this isn't a going to be a high monster power amplifier. I'm only I'm, I'm only being able to get maybe about 180 watts out of this unit right now, but it is linear. It is purely linear. You can take this to the 10 meter band if you're a ham operator. Take it to the 12 meter band. Take it to the free band. You're linear, so you can take it to side band. So that's one good thing about it. It's 100 and, you know, 80 to 200 watts of pure linearity. Plus, these are more, this is considered more of a high drive type amplifier now with these 453s, which is, you know, basically 454s, 80 watt transistors, if I remember correctly, okay? I don't want nobody to say, oh, he's lying, you know, this and that. I hadn't particularly looked these up yet. But I believe they are 80 watt transistors. Maybe uh, somebody can look it up if y'all got time. I'm just <laughs> busy over here on this end, man. But uh, they, I believe they are 80 watt transistors. They're pretty much MRF 454s, if I am remembering correctly. So, you know, it is considered a little higher drive. You can probably put up to an export into this. So let's go ahead and let you see what it's doing. Uh, the preamp does work as well. Just want to throw that in there. All right, we're going to be putting about 20 watts from the uh, Cobra 29 Bluetooth. Modulation turned up to 100%, still got all limiters. Got our dead key sitting a little low. We turn that dead key up just a little bit. There we go. We got about a 1.1 watt decky. Adi 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 Alrighty, 20 watts like usual. Go ahead and flip her on. 13.9 volts. We're on the low setting. Adi 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 o adi 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 o. All righty, fifty watts on the low setting. Going over to medium.
Medium gives about an 8 watt dead key. Alright, about 123 watts on medium. Going over to high. Alright, got about a 24 watt dead key on high. All right, about 168, 170 watts on high, 13.8 volts and 20 watts PP driving into it. Like I said, this is considered more of a high drive type uh, deal, kind of like 2879s, but 20 watts less. Um, the, the, as long as they are 80 watt transistors, of which I'm sure they are. So, you I mean you can bump, you know, 30, 40 watts in this uh, into this amplifier and be fine. So, let's go ahead and bump these. Uh, well, I meant to show you the uh, output of the input tune. Go ahead and show you that right now. We're, we're, we're on 15.3. Let's show you the output of that first. Alright, about 26 watt dead key. Alrighty, just shy of 200. Just shy of 200. Let's let you see the input tune. 10 watt slug. 100's 10, 4 is 40 is 4. Da beautiful tune, man. Barely moves. Beautiful tune. Alrighty. So I hook my hot radio up right there, man. This thing be doing probably at least 250, 260, 270. But I ran this thing for. Whew, I was talking skip on it last night. Man, at least a good 30, 40 minutes. I, I could barely get this thing warm. Barely get this thing warm. So that's also letting me know that, you know, these are higher drive transistors here, man, that ain't even, you know, ain't even being working. They're not working hard. You know what I mean? They're not working hard. So let's go ahead and, uh, didn't, didn't have to do too much to this amplifier. Turn on the light here, kind of point out a few things. Like I said, didn't have to do too much to it to get it up and operational. We did uh, we did clean it very well. We did do a really good cleaning to it. It was a little dirty. Had some tape and stuff right here, and we bored these out right here, make it a little bit more smoother. Cleaned the back up a little bit there. Um, let me put it around this way. This transistor right here, somebody had uh, broke a drill bit or a screw or something off in the in the uh, factory hole right here. So uh, just to save me a little bit of time, I, what I went ahead and did is uh, retrofitted the the uh, the board here to where I could kind of take this screw, just you know, just push it over just a little bit. To, to, to drill drill and tap a new screw uh, a new hole there you know it's, you can't hardly tell that much you can tell that transistor is just over just a little bit to the right a little bit and uh, the uh, the biasing diode was missing so uh, I put one a little bit about uh, three times as bigger than they put on the factory one so we put a um, What is that? A three A, I believe it is. Three amp thousand volt. Yeah. And the one on the power was missing too, man. You hook the power, power and positive up backwards. That, that's going to be the first thing that's going to pop and give you a one chance, one chance deal there. Plus, it helps a little bit uh, uh, with the DC AC mixing. Make sure they're not mixing through the power and all that good stuff. I want to keep the AC off the DC. I want to keep the DC off the AC. <laughs> well, there you go. A nice little high drive 225 now. 
that can be hit with a little, you know, this could basically be hit with a bigger radio now than, the, than you know, using the small transistors, the 455s or something like this. So this is more of a higher drive amplifier now. Well, there you go. I uh, hope whoever picks it up enjoys. Go ahead and put the bottom on it and get it put on eBay. Mr. Gatekeeper set it. On to the next. Happy uh, holiday. Dang, what holiday is it? I can't even remember. <laughs> I'm absent minded. Now, I got too much solder smoke going through my nose. We clear.